All praise is honor and glory goes to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. That we want to set our apostles and elders of great millstone who teach and rule well. Sincere Shalom to all you men preaching this word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. And Shalom to you striving and sincere believers. All right. <clears throat> and as well as the uh, the Israelites scattered abroad who may look like the other nations, but are indeed the Israelites. All right. And um, Shalom to the few sisters. It's your brother Shemar Garak coming to you with another lesson. All right. And this one is breaking news. I'm mean, entitled this one. Um, okay. Pentagon creates new office to track UFOs. All right, and this is recent, man. Now, why you got to ask yourself why would they do this? Okay, because they got devices, they've got mm, certain uh, tools, um, different groups to track these things for the military. Okay, <clears throat> but now they're creating a new group. All right, to focus in on or you know. They feel like what they were doing was not enough. So that leads me to think or, or that we know that the chariots are popping up way more than before. And if you are new to this thing, the chariots or what they call UFOs are indeed the vehicles that the angels use to patrol the earth and the universe for the most high. OK, and Yahweh shall our Lord and Savior, OK, who they ignorantly call Jesus Christ. He's coming in a big, huge, as we like to call, fathership, all right, to um, conquer this earth, okay, and be that rightful king, okay? And all throughout the scriptures, they speak about these chariots. There was a chariot following us out of Egypt, uh, giving us light by night and uh, as a cloud by day, okay? They have a cloaking um, system, as we like to say. And um, they've been here before the earth was here. Okay, so these are ancient vehicles and the, the angels use them, like I said, to patrol the earth. Okay, as well as the universe. So let's get, um, this is from space.com. This is from three days ago. It says, Pentagon establishes office to track UFOs in space. Okay, the office will also attempt to study objects that appear to travel between air, space, and water. Okay, the Department of Defense, which is like a military branch, okay, of the U.S. has created a, um, an office to track unidentified objects in space, air, and underwater, or even those that appear to travel between these domains. Okay. So let's get, um, let's go with Revelations <clears throat> 1, verses 7. We're going to jump to, um, this is when Yahweh Shah um, cracks the clouds, invades uh, the earth realm. Okay. Behold, he cometh with clouds. Like I said, the clouds, can, um, the chairs can hide themselves, cloak themselves. And clouds, that's another cold word for a chariot. And every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him. And all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him. Even so, amen. So every eye shall see him. Okay. And all the kindreds of the earth shall well, meaning this thing is going to be scary. They've never seen this before. All right. On this scale. All right. And. And they also, which pierced them, showing you that these people, I think it was two guys or three guys, I want to say two, that pierced them, okay, they're going to be here, okay? And uh, we always say that they're going to have high military positions, okay? Because it makes sense. It makes sense, all right? Now, you can't find that in the scriptures, but, okay, you, you, um, you have to extrapolate. They're not going to be some homeless person. No, it's going to be somebody with some type of name. All right. And they're going to get um, um, destroyed. Okay. Now, let's, uh, let's get, um, 
solo va a ser let's go to second Ezra 13 real quick okay now we go I'm gonna, I'm gonna be jumping through because I want to get back to the article okay And lo, there arose a wind from the sea, and that it moved all waves thereof. Okay. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heavens. Okay. Showing you there's a lot of chariots going to be um, here when uh, that man is Yahweh comes. And when he turned his countenance to look, all things trembled that were seen under him. Okay. And um, it tells you how he, the chariots has a weapon system if you want to read that. But I'm going to jump to, uh, um, let's see. One second. Yeah, okay. Let's jump to verse 29. Behold, the days come. And they should be very afraid, okay? A lot of these UFOs um, haven't really done any damage. They just fly. But um, Esau knows that if it could do all this, it surely has a way to, uh, uh, it has a weapon system, as I like to say, okay? Because Esau is carnal. Any, anything that he sees, he, anything that he sees, he thinks is a threat, man. To his survival, and which he's right on this one. Okay, behold, the days come when the Most High will begin to visit them that are upon the earth, and so humans. Okay, and he shall come, and, and really all creatures, and he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. So a lot of people going to be um, shocked. Okay, a lot of people going to be shocked because they think. How the UFOs are portrayed, they think they're just um, something not to uh, take serious. A lot of them believe that it's not real. Okay, so people are going to be astonished. Verse 31, and one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another. So it's going to be race wars, class wars, because um, it's going to be that bad out here. One place against another. One people against another, that's race wars. And this is the key point, and one realm against another. Okay, now in the article, yeah, in the article, let's get to it. The Department of Defense has created an office to track unidentified objects in space and air underwater, or even those that appear to travel between these domains. Okay, now let's get what realm means. All right. So one realm shall fight against another, according to the second address, 13 verses 31. Okay, a realm, kingdom, domain under a sovereign royal jurisdiction. Okay, regal. Okay. Let's see. So a realm is basically whatever part, however big it is, that space that a king rules. Okay. Okay. So the elites rule this domain. Okay. Or this realm. And Yahweh Shah. Okay. Is given unto him under his father or through his father that uh, everything is put in his hands. Okay, so this king is going to invade these kings, and it said with crowns in his head. Okay, so it's saying that they got they just um, created this new uh, unit. Okay, to track even those that appear to travel between these domains, man. <laughs> so the chariots. Okay, all right. Now let me get. And this thing, this thing is big, man. I don't know if any brothers reported on it, but this is huge, okay? 
This is between, this is uh, from the defense.gov. So this is a government website. So that group is called um, um, All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office. Okay, A-A-R-O. Okay, and this was just created. Let me get what it does. So the AAR Executive Council, led by under Secretary of Defense for Intelligence and Security, Ronald Moultrie, will provide oversight and direction to the AARO along these primary lines of effort. Surveillance, so to watch, survey, collection, and reporting. So whatever you find, whatever you see, report, okay? System capabilities and design, so what they look like and the, uh, what the possible threat is, the, the capabilities, intelligence operations and analysts, okay? So what they come here to do, okay? Mitigation and defeat, okay? So they're coming up with a plan or try to come up with a plan to combat the, the threat, okay? Governance, okay? And science and technology, so they're thinking that this is going to add, you know, to whatever they, they got going on, and which is not, man. All right. So let me get um go back to this article. Let's see. Get the meat out of here. So basically explaining its uh, function. <laughs> Transmedium. So Esau is done, man. Esau is done. Okay. Let's go to uh, Psalm 68. They have no idea, okay, it said, in one hour, great riches come to naught. It's going to be quick work, okay? And if you're found in America and you're not of the elect, it's, it's curtains for you, for you and your family, and everything that you know, and everything that you love, man. But as Israelites, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the for Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, that look like the other heathen nations that are Israelites, through their father's lineage, you have a chance, man. Okay, there's there's an elect, okay? But with that, that being said, you got to do the steps that it said. You got to believe. You got to have faith, okay? And you got to have works, okay? Faith without works is dead. So all that combined um, is a chance for you to be saved. Now, we don't, because there is elect predestined before the earth was made but we don't know who that elect is so it's best to be diligent okay to make your calling of election sure all right so feeding the sheep all right and um the chariots this is psalm 68 verse 17 the chariots of yahweh are twenty thousand, even thousands of angels and it said that in second address the lord uh, chapter 13, the Lord is among them as a Sinai in the holy place. Because the chariots were in Mount Sinai, man. Okay. So, t t our 20,000, even thousands of angels. So, the, the angels are inside these chariots, man. So, these are deadly, deadly vehicles, man. All right. And they could travel through... Any type planet, any type atmosphere, okay? And multiply, get bigger, get smaller. And now Esau think he's going to be able to fight against this, man. And that's what makes it, you know, even better, okay? Because instead, he's, um, they were scared, but durst fight. I mean, the most high going to put it on their spirit to think they can overcome. So... You know, you got to be out your mind to try to fight against something like that. But through the pride of Esau's heart, 
it has deceived them. Okay. For behold, the Lord will come. So the Lord is going to send his son down. And really, it's like the Lord coming down because these are his instructions. These are his orders. Okay. You know, if I send somebody to do something, it's on my behalf. So it's really me doing it. Okay. And the most high is a king, so he don't have to get off his throne. Okay, so he's sending his son down, who's also a king. It's going to rule this, this place, you know, as he promised. Uh, Isaiah 66, verses 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger. I'm going to pay these people back, man. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Let's get what plead is. Gonna judge this place, man. To judge, govern, vindicate, punish. I want to say that's the same word as um, how was Shapat, the Lord's judgment, okay? Or Jehoshaphat, as they say in the scriptures. Let's see how was Shapat, okay? Let's jump to uh, Zechariah. Zechariah 5 verses 1 on down. Then I turned, this is the prophet Zechariah. Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying robe. Another cold word for the chariots, man. So he looked up, and it says, Yahusha said, Look up, for your redemption draweth nigh. And he said, The same way he left is the same way he's coming back. So that's through the chariots, man. And he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying robe. It's because it looked like an oval shape, looked like a sphere. Okay. And um, the length thereof is 20 cubits. And the breadth thereof is, a, is thereof 10 cubits. Then, so it's had a pretty big size. Then said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth. Over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that stilleth. Shall be cut off. As on this side. According to it. So it's a curse for these heathens. And it's a, it's a blessing. This time around. For the elect. The one third. The two thirds. Are actually going to get caught up in this destruction. But eventually. It's going to be a blessing to them. After they come back. Through the loins of the one third. On the other side, all right, in the kingdom of heaven. Okay. So Esau is that thief, man. So it's really coming to take him out and all these heathens. Jake is on the bottom. Jake ain't ruling nothing. Okay. Um, and everyone that swearer shall be cut off as on that side, according to it, because you're not supposed to swear. Okay, Esau make you swear on a Bible in court. He's making all these people sin. He is the man of sin, all right? And he's being revealed, and he has been revealed through the power and spirit of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem and Verse four, verse four, and I will bring it forth, say of the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, and and, and that's uh, Esau Edom. Okay, he stole everything he's got. He can't say that the Most High gave him anything. All right, he had to take it from somebody else. All right, and, and which really the Most High really did give it to him if you look at it on a deeper sense, because it was for his destruction. Okay, it said they're gonna um violently cough up those riches, man. So the Most High let them borrow it. Okay, borrow is the key word. Okay, I mean it's coming it's gonna go back to its rightful owner, which is the Israelites. Under Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem 
Rakakwadash, and um, the 12, and King David, okay? It was a part of the 12, but King David and then the 12, I should say. And everyone that swear shall be cut off as on this side, as on that side according to it. And I will bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies, and it shall enter into the house of the thief, and into the house of of him that sweareth falsely by my name. Okay. And, and this earth is the house. Okay. And he swear falsely by the most high's name. And it shall remain in the midst of his house. And it shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. Okay. So Esau, these chariots, you could try to prepare. You could try to make this office, this group, this unit to try to combat that. And the most house put it on your spirit to do that. It says thou art wiser than Daniel. So you think you're trying to get a heads up. But the, these these chariots are going to show you their capabilities. And it's far out. It's thousands of years. And those articles that came out, this technology is thousands of years ahead of our technology, man. Okay, they defy the laws of gravity. The laws of physics, okay? There are probably certain elements that we don't know about. And um, Esau even thinks he's going to try to throw Legos at like a like a, a machine gun, if you will, for the comparison. It's going to get, it's not going to work, man. So all praise to you. How about Hashem Yahweh Shai, Hashem and in breaking news, uh, Esau creates the AARO. Okay, shalom.